This is Darren McCulley with Professional Control Corporation. Today I want to show you how to easily display your S120 drive faults on a Siemens HMI comfort panel. The drive needs firmware version 4.7 or above and we need to use TI Portal version 13 Service Pack 1 or above. So you can see in my project I have PLC and drive and HMI already configured. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my HMI screens and add a screen. Well, I didn't add a screen. I'm going to drag the alarms view over into my alarm screen. You can see the properties down below. Um, you can use check or uncheck these check boxes to display what you would like, whether you want errors or warnings and errors or system events, or however you want your HMI to work. So after I have that screen, I'm going to go down to connections, HMI connections, and create a new connection. And the communication driver is going to be the S7300-400. And I'm just going to be Ethernet. It's going to be from my TP comfort panel, um, which has an IP address of 3 to my drive, which has an IP address of 182.168.0.2. So you gotta make sure those are correct. And then next, I need to add some HMI tags to relate to my alarms. So the first one I'm gonna do is control unit fault, which is our my drive object one. The connection is gonna be that connection I just created. So between my HMI and my drive. <clears throat> And the data block number here pertains to the fault um, parameter number, which is parameter 947 in the drive and control unit. And the data block, the DBW data block word pertains to the data block offset, which is 1024 times the drive object number. So 1024 times my control unit's drive object number one. So that's 24. I find the drive object number and starter by going to my telegram configuration area and then looking at here and I can see my control unit drive object one or I can go to portal and go to my uh, device and networks my drive and then over in the right area here. Bring this over so we can see it better. You can see the drive, drive object number, the control units one, servo two is two, etc. So that's correct for that. I need to add one for each drive. So drive one, fault, do two. And the data block ops, uh, data block offset is going to be twenty forty eight because it's ten twenty four times the drive object number, which is two. And drive three or drive two fault data drive object three. So then that's going to be. 3072. Now we need to make a tag for all those items for the warnings or the alarms. So um, control unit warning DO1. The reason why I'm just putting the DO1 in there, you can name it however you want. I'm just doing it so it's easy to remember what drive object number it is. So DB2110, 2110 is the parameter that pertains to the alarm, and 1024 to drive object one. Drive one warning, warning DO2. So 1024 is 2048. 
add another one. Drive two, DO three, and 3072. Now we have our tags. I need to create um, a list, so text and graphic lists, a text list that has all of my alarms and faults. So faults and alarms. Go down here for that list, add a new value, make it a single value, okay. And then I need to go to my fault and alarms Excel spreadsheet, which you can find on our on our website, pccweb.com. Um, or there's a Siemens application note that describes how to parse the um, the faults out of the fault and alarm list that Siemens has to create this um, spreadsheet with faults and alarms. So I'll highlight the fault number and then the fault description or the text. Copy it, paste it, right click, paste, and there, overwrite the text. So then there'll be the fault number, the value, and then the text in, the, in this text block. And then when we get a fault and it's triggered by the, um, the drive, then, then the, vault, the value here will, when we see this value, the drive parameter, it'll correspond to the text here that's going to display in a second. So after I've got that list, now I need to create some HMI alarms. So we've got HMI alarms, it's an analog alarm. Add a new one. We'll call it control unit fault. Alarm text is going to be, so this is what's going to display on my HMI. Control unit fault semicolon space space. And then I want to insert the text field. And it's going to be the text field is going to come from the faults and alarms list that we just created. And the tag that's going to tell me which fault it is, is going to be my control unit fault tag. Okay. And then it's going to trigger when I get a control unit fault. Control unit fault. That's the tag that's going to trigger it. And my limit. So every time it's zero or the limit mode higher, so zero or higher value for a fault code. So every time I get a fault, basically, it's going to trigger this message. So drive one fault. The text is going to say. Drive one fault. And you can play with what you're typing in here when you get your get your uh, HMI working and should display in the faults and alarms if you want if there to be more spaces or say something else, you can do that easily. So this time it's going to be triggered off of drive one fault. Or it's going to be not triggered off of but refer to drive one fault. Alarm class, their errors versus warnings, so they will keep that. Um, and drive one fault. The trigger tag, again, zero. Do another one. Drive two fault. List again. Drive to fault. And then we would do the same for all the warnings. So control unit. Warning. Set 
text field this time, still false and alarms, the list, but now I'm going to do the warning tags. Warning. And I'm going to change the alarm class to a warning because that's what it is. It's a warning, that's not a fault or an error. Um, then you do the same thing for the drive, drive one, drive two, but to save time, I will skip those. Oops. Get rid of that one. And that is all I need to do. So now I will compile my HMI. Two errors. Um, I think that's maybe that's a PLC error. Yep. My HMI works fine. I don't care about a PLC error right now. So my drive is faulted because I faulted it. And you can see drive motor block speed controller at its limit. So that's my current fault. I cannot acknowledge that fault here because it's still active in my drive. So if I go to online with my drive, Then I can go see that there's a fault, and then I can actually see, yep, my fault drive motor blocked. You're going to acknowledge that in the drive. Go to my HMI, and now that drive fault's gone. So you can see I easily configured um, how to display drive faults in, in my HMI without having to use any programming. Uh, there's an application note on our website, www.pccweb.com, that uh, is on the blog area, and it pertains to this, along with G120 HMI alarms, faults, and messages. So thank you for your time.